How's it going, folks? I'm Des with DesFit, and Apple's just come out with two new running specific features, including a new race route feature where you can race against some of your best times that you set on previous routes, as well as automatic track detection for all your track workouts. And the great thing about these features is that they're going to be available on any Apple Watch that can run Watch OS 9.2, including everything from the newest Apple Watch Ultra all the way back to the Series 4 and every Apple Watch in between. And these new features build upon the host of new sports features that Apple released with Watch OS 9 earlier this fall, including multi sport and triathlon modes, new data pages, as well as wrist based running power. And I've got another video where I went over all those new features, which I'll have linked down in the description below, which you can check out once you're done over here. But back to these two new features, though. So the first is automatic track detection, and this is going to be super useful as well as super convenient for all your track workouts, where your Apple Watch will be able to automatically detect when you arrive at any standard 400 meter outdoor track. And this is whether you're starting your workout at a track or let's say you want to run to the track for a warm up. And how they do this is they use a combination of Apple Maps data along with GPS where they're able to detect like thousands of 400 meter tracks in the US. So like here, I just started an outdoor run at my local track in Colorado and then up popped this prompt that indicated that it detected that I'm on a track. Then if you do in fact wanna start a track workout, you'll wanna choose the lane that you're running. So for this example, I chose lane two and then when you go to start your run, you can see your lane information right up top. And then the same thing goes if you're just out on a run and then you wanna pop onto a track or if you wanna to run to the track for a warm up. Like here, I already had a run started and then within like just one to two seconds of stepping onto the track, it popped up the prompt that it detected that I arrived. And it really was quite spot on with this quick mile that I did here where every lap it was nailing each quarter mile and it was spot on as I finished the mile. And then you also get your lap splits broken out in your workout summary after the fact. And as you can see, it properly adjusts for the slight increase in distance with each lane as you move to higher lane numbers. And then along with that, you'll also get a super crispy GPS tracker your workout with precision all the way down to the actual lane. And as you can see here, it was really close to the lane two where I was running on that run. And the reason you may want to use this kind of feature is that just relying on GPS for track workouts can be a little bit challenging in terms of accuracy, just because tracks kind of have a tight circle. So they're able to deliver better accuracy with track specific algorithms. And precision aside, what I really like about this feature is that it's just one of those things that just automatically happens without you having to do anything. So it's just a really elegant solution that has a great just work factor to it. And at the moment, they say that this feature should work with any standard 400 meter track that meets IAAF specifications. And they say that it can automatically detect thousands of tracks in the US. And I'm sure that they'll probably be expanding this to other regions once they get more data. And speaking of more data, if for some reason your track isn't recognized, you can actually submit your track data via the workout summary map in the fitness app after your workout. So the next feature we're going to talk about is a new race route feature. And how you can think of this is basically racing against your previous results on courses that you've done at least twice before. And this is not only available for running, but also cycling. And for how this works, when you go to start an outdoor run or outdoor ride, you'll want to tap the three dots in the upper right hand corner of your workout profile. If you're nearby a route that you've done at least twice, you'll be given the option to choose to race that route. So like here, I've done this 10K loop twice, so that's what actually shows up here. And if you tap on that, it shows the map of that route along with an elevation profile of the course. And then from here, you can click next and then up pops another screen that allows you to choose to either race against your personal best time or your most recent time. And then from there, you just click start workout and then away you go. And the great thing about this feature too is that you don't necessarily have to be super close to the start of your route. So like here in my studio, I think it's about a third of a mile from the start of my route and it still totally shows up. And then as soon as you do get to the start of the route, it'll recognize that and then up pops a screen that shows the time that I'm either ahead or behind that I'm racing against, along with the distance remaining for the route. So as I started out on this run, I was falling a little bit behind on my most recent time. So it indicates that along with a little visual indicator in the center of my position in relation to the time that I'm racing against with a nice elevation profile. And then as I speed up, as soon as I'm ahead of my virtual pacer, it gives me a nice prompt letting me know that. And it changes to a much friendlier green color, which is probably what we all want to see. And the same thing goes, of course, if you fall behind where you'll also get an alert. And this is obviously a great tool if you want to improve on your route times, but I also think that this could be a good tool for pacing. And the best part is, of course, if you do happen to run a faster time for your race route, it gives you this great little you've won message when you complete the route. It's a nice little touch. And then in the fitness app in your workout history, it indicates any workout that used a race route with a special green color instead of a yellow color. And then also provides a race time and race pace in your workout details, along with the total workout time and total workout pace, which may differ if you ran a little ways before or after the race route. Now, like I was mentioning earlier, for a race route to appear in the workout options, you need to have done that route at least twice before. So a question you may have though, is that how similar do those routes need to be? So here's an example of three runs that I did that are very similar, but this third route over here has a little bit of a deviation right down here at the bottom. And it doesn't appear that that third route was actually factored into those race routes. 
And another question you may have is, what happens if I accidentally deviate off course? Well, first off, you'll get a nice off course warning letting you know that you're off route. And it happened within like 25 to 30 meters maybe of me taking a wrong turn. And then as soon as you get back on course, it'll let you know that you're back on route. So it's definitely not like you have to throw away your entire effort in case you accidentally make a mistake. And I went off course, I think about an eighth of a mile and then rejoined without any problem. So they definitely built in some room for error there, which is nice. And this race route feature, it worked perfectly for me. And I think they did a really nice job implementing it, but I think they could definitely build upon this idea with, let's say, some route guidance to get you to the start of the course and even a map page during your ride or your run for a little bit of navigation guidance. And then you can probably already think about it already, but if you could actually download a GPX file or load a GPX file onto the watch rather than using a previous activity, that could be really, really beneficial. Anyhow, if you have any questions about the race route feature or the automatic track detection that I didn't cover in this video, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. And on your way down there, if you found the information in this video to be useful, well, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos just like this that are coming soon. And in the meantime, happy running and we will see you in the next video.